Recently, I recorded a short where I converted a string array into a list. And afterwards, I changed the underlying array and the changes were not reflected in the list. And I got a comment that that's because a list of produces an immutable collection or an immutable list, which is partially true. So it is, it is in fact, um, immutable. So if I try to add, let's say, uh, James here, uh, James is already there. So let's try uh, with uh, J25. If I run the code, we get uh, exception because the list indeed is immutable. But um, let's try another approach. Um, and what I could do equally well, I could actually ask the collections utility to create an un unmodifiable collection, which is uh, immutable. And then I only have to convert the array to a list, which uh, would work with arrays as list. And this should also produce an immutable collection. So um, just go with J25 again. And it is immutable. But if we just remove that, it is immutable. But uh, I'm able to override the list by changing the underlying array. The reason being is this list of not only produces an unmodifiable collection, it also creates a copy of the underlying array. And this is why I don't saw the changes um, by changing the underlying array.